Welcome back everybody to another episode of Final Fantasy 7. In this episode, or actually in the last episode, we um, started the underwater reactor. Uh, getting the huge materia from the underwater reactor, we ended up, we had to go to Junon, we ended up coming down here, and we fought carrier armor. And that's so where we are now is we are, the submarine left with the huge materia, and we are heading in to um, get... We're headed into the submarine to catch the other submarine to get the huge material. You're not taking over the ship. Alright, yes, I stopped last episode a little bit early. Um, only because... I didn't want it to take 40 minutes or, you know, 45 minutes. I only have a limited time today to do my recordings. I need, to, I need to get them done. I need to finish this one up, because once I finish this one up, I got things I gotta do. So yeah, normally I save it after every single one, and I don't normally do two at a time or three at a time. Uh, today, it's only two at a time today. Uh, sir, maybe we shouldn't piss them off. Yeah, you shouldn't piss me off. Alright, so this is going to be a, yeah, a pincer attack is what these are called. Ice free these guys. Nice cover, Cloud. Nice cover and counter attack. Shinra Beta. What is that? I don't know what that is. Okay. Oh, you know what? There was a safe spot right in here. Wow. Alright, well, it doesn't matter. Actually, should save that. No, no, this is terrible. Now it's too late now. I can't save it now. We don't have much time left. I don't want to die. There's still so much I gotta do. I've never even gotten to do my special victory dance in battle. Alright then, make this your first victory. Go on, show them. Yes, sir. Remember your last training. Begin. Yes, sir. I'm back, and now I got no regrets. Attack! Huh. You know what? We're gonna take him prisoner. Someone, please, I'm sorry, I can't take it anymore. The lack of space, the shaking, the roar of the engine. Better hurry, Reno's getting away. Uh, hey, it's moving! Oh man, this sucks. Flounder, do something. Hey, you're right. I do feel a little bit better driving. No sweat. Just leave everything to me. Okay. So, we could read the manual and figure out what to do. In fact, I'm going to have to. Alright. Beginner's edition. Button placements. Up is descend. Down. Descend. Awesome. See, that's going to mess me up. So switch, menu, and cancel. Okay, so the OK button doesn't get used. Rotation left, rotation right, speed up, speed down, and fire. Okay. I should be okay. I'm not gonna read all this crap. Because what you're gonna have to do is you gotta, you gotta, the objective is to sink the red um, leader submarine. You have 10 minutes. Get the enemy sub in front of you. Concentrate the attack on the red. If you lose track, push down and use your raid. Page down and use your raid. Alright, um, 
I'm going to read that one more time because I can't remember what the fire button was. Oh, okay, or not. I think it said switch was fire, right? Alright. Alright. I don't care about... Okay, so menu is speed up. Okay, there's we go. Button placements. So switch was fire. Okay, so my B button. Alright. I just wanted to make sure because there is a way to do this very, very quickly. to do that is to just start spamming the fire button right off the bat. There, mission complete. That was easy. This mission sucks. I hate the submarine mission. So I, I like to get it over with as quick as possible. Alright, that's nice. So we received the machinery sub. We now have a submarine. We can go underwater, and there are things underwater. Phew, we did it. The huge material should be at the bottom of the sea by now. Let's continue the search. All Sheena Submarine Unions, do you read? All Sheena Submarine Units, do you, do you read? Hmm, must be from Machine Rock. Report number two. We have no choice but to respond. This is Sheena number two. Everything's normal. Roger. Your next mission is return to the Junon dock. We will transport the huge materia from the airport. Those without other assignments will report for guard duty. That is all. Over and out. Shoot on airport. We should make it if we hurry. Forget about the huge materia for now. We're climbing. Climbing. Ah, oh, my ears. Let me out. I hate this. No, we are not. We are headed to get the huge materia. Oh. No, apparently we're not. How to drive the submarine. Okay, blah, 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 blah. All right. If you come down here after you're done, be careful. See this big crater? That big crater? Emerald. Emerald is down here. This is where you fight Emerald the Weapon. You can run into him right now. And you can fight him right now. And he will wipe the floor with you right now. So, yeah, you got to be very, very careful when you're uh, when you're down here uh, because emerald weapon and you got to be careful when you like when you come down like uh, from the surface because if you come down he there are times where he can be coming right at you and hit you and it's happened to me in the past you just gotta it's really hard I wish I could I wish I could, uh... I wish it would go a little bit faster. That way I could... Um... See, coming out. Alright, and then you, you're also going to have these little passageways. Uh, right now, what we're looking for is I'm looking for the red submarine. I cannot remember where it is. And you 
get the huge materia from the red submarine. Oh, you know what? This is... You remember when I went um, for Vincent's? Yeah. This is normally how you would get here. Uh, we got here with the mountain, Kokobo. Uh, but this is normally how you would come here first. And then you would dock right here. And then you could go in and then you would get the uh, scene with the Procretia. In fact, you know what? Is it going to let me do it? Or do I? I think I have to be... No, it will. Lucretia. Received death penalty, received chaos. Ha! I thought it had to be um, in the other one. See, okay, so you come back here with... Uh, I don't know, maybe it's timed. Maybe, maybe it's after a certain amount of enemy fights. We now have... His best weapon. Um, and you see the growth is nothing. We are not going to put it on him because the growth is nothing. It's a crappy growth. But we have all of his limits. We, we now have chaos. We now have his limit level four. We will set it. There. Now we have two. Well... Eris doesn't count because we don't have her anymore. Um, but we now had have, have two characters that have gotten their limit level fours. Okay. Yeah, I, I'm actually glad I went up there. I didn't think I thought I, I thought you had to wait till uh, disc three to get that, but I guess not. Now you need to be careful when you're coming out of these things because sometimes Emerald will decide to be a jerk and block your way. Sometimes he likes to start to scare the crap out of you. I, uh, I definitely want to show him. There's another item down here that we might as well grab. It's called the, uh, uh, Key of the Ancients, which is right here. It seems like a key to somewhere. It seems really old. Analysis complete. Exact date of origin undetermined. Estimated to be several thousand years old. Several thousand years? Ancients? Key item. Key to the ancients. Okay, so normally you would uh, progress through the story and you would get to a part and it would, which is coming up. Nah. It's coming up quick, but not really, really quick. Um, and it will tell you, like, it will give you a little bit of a riddle. Be like, where the sun doesn't shine, uh, something, something. But it's, it, it basically means to check out down here. And then you would eventually find it. But since we're down here, I might as well grab it. Alright, so what I'm doing is I'm looking for... Trying to look for... Emerald, so we don't run into him on accident. I also want to show you what Emerald looks like. But yeah, that big crater over there, and he's usually floating around the crater somewhere. Sometimes, he likes to sit in front of one of the, um, there's a, there's a ship down here that has really good experience. Oh, there he is right there. What's he sitting in front of? That is Emerald Weapon. He is a scary sight. Just don't run into him. So this is the leader sub. Damn, makes me sick just thinking about it. Huge materia recovered. No damage appears to have been sustained. Phew, that's good to hear. 
Received key item, huge material. Is he still there? No, he's not there anymore. That means he's uh, floating around somewhere. He's probably on the move. He tends to move back and forth. Alright, so... Okay, so we, there's nothing really here for us down here anymore. So what we're going to do is we're going to head over to Junon. We're going to head back into our airship. Now, I think if we go in the airship and we talk to people, they'll tell us to go to Rocket Town. Them machineers think they're going to fight Meteor with the huge materia? How are you feeling? You ought to rest up a bit. Don't push yourself. You said there's something going on at Rocket Town? The Sheeners all gathered at Sid's Rocket Town. I love giving out secrets more than anything. Okay, so I think they actually said that to us beforehand, and we could have done either one first. Alright, so we want to go. So now we are supposed to go to Rocket Town. Okay. Rocket Town is going to be... There's no way we're going to get through Rocket Town all tonight. So... Okay, we can uh, go to Calm and we can turn in the guidebook for the underwater materia. Um, I do need to... We do need to get more Carbo Nuts. Um, we could probably try... We could probably try to... Um, mate again. Okay, so what you... I gotta figure out where this guy is. I think he's down... See in this one? No, I don't think he is. Yes, he is. Okay. This is the guy you take him to. The world's changed a lot in the past few days. That huge materia is covering up the sky and acting like it owned. A lot of my friends have died. I'm going on a journey to pray for their souls. A map that was sunk along with the ship. Guide. A rose that blooms once every thousand years in the desert. Desert rose. A harp that soothes those who hear it. The earth harp. Okay, obviously we have the guidebook. The Desert Rose, because he's looking for these three items. Um, the guidebook, we have. The Desert Rose, you get when you defeat Ruby Weapon, the one in the in the desert and, uh, next to the Gold Saucer. He, he, he is not up yet. Um, I can't remember when he pops up. Um, and then the Earth Harp, which you get from defeating... Emerald. Now, when you give him the Earth Harp, he gives you the Master Materia, all Master Materia. Um, when you give him the Desert Rose, you get a Gold Chocobo. We're already, honestly, the, the Desert Rose doesn't even matter because we're going to have a Gold Chocobo anyways um, by the time we defeat him, so that one doesn't matter. In the Guidebook, we get the Underwater Materia. I wonder if there's anyone who will bring them, bring it to me. I have the guidebook. Oh, it's the guidebook. You want to trade it for the underwater material? How about it? Okay. Okay, then it's done. Then it's a done deal. So he's going to get it now. It's underwater material. Go on, take it. It's yours. Alright. And I'll just show you what it is real quick. It's just uh, it's a purple material. And it's ability list underwater. That's it. That's it. You can't master it. Nothing. The only thing it does is it takes that 20 minute time limit away when you're fighting Emerald. Okay, so now that we did that.
Yeah, I'm not going to Rocket Town right now. I'm trying to think of what other things that we can do. Okay. Since I'm right here anyways. Oh, yeah, we're going to... That's right. Uh, I'm going to go get a Carbo Snot. Yeah, so what I'll do is I'll get a Carbo Snot. I'll probably get two of them. And then uh, we'll call it an episode and I'll run over. And then... Um, the next episode, I'll start off with uh, trying to get the blue Coco Ball. If I don't, I don't. No, it doesn't matter. Because, like I said, and it's got to be male. I wonder. I'm wondering if we can get lucky enough. Oh, do I have steel on? I think I do. Oh, I didn't even see what happened. Did, did she get her new limit? No, she did not. She must oh, she must have gained a level in her materia. Oh, destruct must have gone up. Yeah, I think destruct just went up. Nice. So now we can use death. I know there's other places to fight this guy, but this seems the most consistent one. Level 4 Suicide. Yeah, this is probably definitely going to take the rest of our time up. There he is. Because I, I, I want to get two of these. Hey, hey! Look at that. I wonder if... Uh, I think that's the only one I can steal. I think you can only steal once from these guys. Or from any enemy in the game. I'll try, but I doubt it. Nothing to steal. Oh, you know what? I should have tried death. It doesn't hit. Nope, I missed. Now there's another side thing that we could do too. We can get um cloud support slot weapon. Dead pretty soon. Come on, guys. Not cloud. Yeah, these things have a ton of health. They just got like 20,000 health or something. 
Or maybe it's not. Maybe it is 10,000. No, it's definitely more than 10,000. Should die in the next few hits. Yeah, and I'm glad. I was hoping Cloud was going to be the one to kill him. Yeah, he still doesn't have Meteor Ring. Wow. Okay, um... Yeah, I want one more, Carbos. I might use a tent to get their magic back. Then, and then I'll just start attacking with magic. That way I'll try to kill it quicker. Uh, the next that one that we fight. You know, it's funny is I bought those tents in the beginning of the game and uh, I still have them and then they come in handy once you buy them though you can pretty much keep them for the rest of the game I think I might head to Medeal after this too, and uh, cause I think Medeal has some good weapons for the characters. I am definitely gonna swap out Yuffie and Vincent. I will swap out Vincent. I'm as much as I like him now that he's got his. He's got his best weapon and his limit level 4. We need to start using some more characters. Alright, I just need one more of these things. Alright, if I don't get into a fight, if this isn't the Raptor, there it is. Yeah, of course. This is, I, if, I was going to stop after this one too. Well, that's nice. First try steal. I love it. Now I will start the... Uh... Oh, I actually hit steal again. This guy dies quicker. I love that counter attack on Bounder. The cover and the counter attack uh, combination there is really nice. Because if he covers for somebody, he has the chance to counterattack on that. And uh, Founder is going to act as our tank later on, so...
waste all my magic on this guy. There we go. Okay, guys. I'm going to... I got two Carbos Nuts. Um, in fact, I think... I, oh, you know, no, I need the Carbos. I need two of them. Because I need one to get the blue choke bow and then one to get the black choke bow. And then, after that, I need the Zeo Nuts in order to get the gold choke bow. Alright, guys. We're going to call this an episode right here. Um, I'll use a tent because I'm almost out of magic. Did I pass it? Did. There. There. You know what? I did have some Phoenix Downs. I had two of them. Uh, speed Source. And I do have an Ether. Okay, so how about we arrange for battle? Oh wait, no. Arrange for field. That will put the tent up top. Okay. Alright guys, we're going to call this an episode. Uh, thanks for watching. If you like the series, just remember to um, hit that thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and I will see you next episode. Take care, everybody.